Hi, I'm Victoria. Welcome to my studio. Come on in. There was never a time when I wasn't observing and either drawing or painting. As a child, I enjoyed spending time alone, I still do, and always doing something creative. Growing up in the English countryside, I was surrounded by farms and nature. I came to Canada when I was 14, dabbled in art classes in high school, and then went on to get my diploma in graphic design at college. I went straight to work in the art department of several newspapers and magazines and did freelance agency work. Then I had kids and I began painting more seriously while st still doing freelance illustration. That was over 30 years ago and I've never looked back. I love what I do and I'll be painting till the day I die. Here's some of my very early work. One of my earliest series was a collection of nursery rhymes painted in watercolor. I then took some workshops to learn how to use acrylics. In one of my first series in that medium, I painted lots of thin layers to depict dark urban scenes with pools of light reflected on wet streets. My acrylic paintings have evolved to reflect my environment as I'm always observing and recording my surroundings, the ocean and the life it supports is now a great inspiration. I love to travel and take pictures which I use as reference photos to work on in my studio. I always use my own photos for reference. I paint in various media, mostly watercolors or acrylics, choosing whichever best suits the subject matter and the effect I want. I'm drawn to images that have unusual angles, pattern, repeating objects, lots of color and interesting textures. I particularly like painting old architecture. One of my favorite subjects to paint is old storefronts mostly in England and France, and typically in watercolor with pen and ink. I love the textures of these old buildings and I find that letting the water do its work on the paper helps achieve the textural look. I was recently commissioned by the Empress Hotel in Victoria to create a series of paintings depicting the culture of the hotel. The originals are now in the hotel's permanent collection and prints of the artworks are featured throughout the hotel. And I do have prints available for purchase on demand. And my design for a coin to celebrate Canada's 150th birthday was shortlisted by the Canadian Mint to one of 25 in the final round of 10,000 entries. I'm currently creating a series of small affordable watercolors with pen and ink and glass beads. They're mounted on wooden panels so they can be either hung on the wall or placed on a shelf. They're great for gift giving and as a more permanent alternative to sending flowers. They're inspired by my walks through the local trails and the flowers in my garden. Here's my series of songbirds. They're small paintings of backyard birds with William Morris inspired patterns in the background. Each bird has been given a name that is a musical term. For example, staccato, cantata, and crescendo. I regularly take on commissions, mostly in watercolor, but also in acrylic on canvas. I've painted lots of people's homes, pets, and car collections. In addition to doing my paintings, I have a company called West Coast Chalkworks, in which I create hand-lettered and illustrated chalkboards for restaurants and events. Thank you for visiting my studio. It was a pleasure showing my work and telling my story. I hope you'll come back and visit again soon. Bye for now.